In their latest book, Surviving Autocracy, Masha Gessen reminded us that Trump didn't run to be president, he ran to be an autocrat. I took a break from panic whittling to ask Masha how close Trump might actually be to attaining complete unchecked power. Journalist, author, and Russian dissident Masha Gessen has joined us several times on the show, offering grim predictions about how Trump will ruin the country. So far, they've all come true, except this one from 2016. Oh, my biggest worry is a nuclear holocaust. Masha's attitude now? Oh, there's definitely still time for that. Okay. That's the Masha we know and love. So in the midst of the pandemic and protests and economic crisis, and in celebration of Masha's new book, I had a Zoom chat with our favorite fatalist, appropriately enough during a thunderstorm that changed the lighting from this to this to this for our new segment, Doomcast with Masha Gessen. On a scale of things are completely hopeless to, no, seriously, it's so f***ing hopeless. It's like hopeless to even measure the hopelessness. How hopeless are things right now? Right now, I'm actually thinking, I'm feeling very hopeful. Uh, wow. Let's try this again. It's all going to be totally fine with Masha Gessen. No, I'm not saying that. We have infinite opportunity to f*** it up. So hope maybe? Well, hope where you can get it, first of all. Hope where you can get it. Good enough. It's we have infinite opportunity to f*** up, but hope where you can get it with Masha Gessen. What is the source of, dare I say, this uncharacteristic hope? Is it the murder hornets? Be honest. I mean, it took the uprising. We're seeing a well-organized, well-thought-out, inspired and inspirational movement, right, of people who are actually have a vision for the future. The biggest protest movement in this country's history. That's right. Some estimates from last month showed that 26 million people had already participated in Black Lives Matter protests. And that's not even including all the military cosplay enthusiasts. You've always said that we can't rely on institutions to save us. We have to rely on us. Is this us saving us, minus the Karens? <laughs> is it happening? I think we're trying to. And we're seeing ideas that would have, under normal circumstances, under circumstances of political stability, taken years to penetrate the public consciousness. Yes, ideas such as universal basic income and health care, totally reforming the justice system, and that the Confederates might have been assholes. They were assholes. All of those ideas are suddenly part of mainstream political conversation. And largely it's up to the Democratic Party to get its act together and realize that this is its mandate. Ah, yes. Speaking of infinite opportunities to f*** it up, the Democrats. Meanwhile, Trump has decided that the problem with the rancid swill of racist authoritarianism he's been spewing is that the servings are too small. But there are signs that delicacy isn't packing them in like it once did. Let's talk about things that shouldn't be hypotheticals, but are, that we actually will have an election in November, number one. Number two, that Trump loses. But what if he loses, but doesn't actually leave? You know, there are countries in the world where presidents lose elections and then refuse to leave. Yes. And so in those countries, we ask, whose side is the military on? Are they going to escort him out of office? Right. And then who is legitimate? And the perceived legitimacy depends on the vote count. Right. If he loses by the same margin as he won by in 2016, he's not going anywhere. So he needs to be defeated by a landslide. Oh, God. But with a drop in voter registration because of the pandemic, voter suppression and other dirty tricks, everything seems increasingly dark to me. And then I'm going to turn on the slide here. OK, that was a little on the nose, but I'll take it maybe try framing it a little bit differently. Like, we have this amazing chance. Yes, okay. Right? To just vote the mother out of office. It is still possible. It's almost yes. miraculous. You know, other people who are living in autocracies mm -hmm. have no hope okay. of being able to use their voice and their vote to change their lives fundamentally. And we still have that option. I mean, literally, if enough of us show up at the polls or mail in our ballots, we're going to get rid of him. And we're going to have a chance at reinventing this country. This is what hope feels like. Masha, you did it. <laughs> so on that note, let's end this edition of what we've always called. We have an amazing chance to vote the motherfucker out of office and reinvent this country with Masha Gessen. We better not f*** it up. Don't f*** it up. 
If you like this video, hit subscribe and let me know in the comments below. And if you didn't like this video, I'm sure you've already left a comment. Thank you so much.